everyone, I'm Jacqueline and I'm a blogger at gollylocks.com and I am here today at Haley Medical Aesthetics Clinic with Dr. Terence Tan and he is actually going to be here to answer the top 5 questions that have been sent to me about our therapy. Um, you know, our therapy is one of the treatments that I've done at Haley Medical Aesthetics Clinic like recently and I'm really happy with the results so you know I want Dr. Terence Tan to tell you all the answers that you all want to know. So, Dr. Terence Tan, can you introduce yourself? Uh, Jacqueline, thank you for coming back. Um, I remember we did uh, our therapy for you mm -hmm. one month ago. Yeah. And just now, as you saw for yourself, you were super happy with the results. So, thank you for coming back. Hello, hi. I'm Dr. Terence Tan. Uh, I'm the doctor at Haley Medical Aesthetics. Uh, we are an aesthetics clinic which combines uh, medical aesthetic treatments uh, with the pampering of a spa um, be it, and we can address every single issue that uh, most people have in mind be it wrinkles, pigmentation, pimples uh, or, or acne scarring um, so uh, very happy to see you guys and uh, very happy to see you again. Okay, so um, the top five questions I've received today are all from ladies, all you ladies out there. So let's get started. The first question is from Janice and Janice asked, if I'm not happy with the results after I did the, ter the therapy, can I do it again after three months? Since, you know. That is the question which we do not normally answer. Because most people who come actually have a fantastic result. So our therapy is a very good uh, machine, um, or rather, our therapy is a very good machine. Uh, and the, our therapy treatment uh, gives very consistently good results. So we don't really get a lot of uh, people coming back saying that uh, they're not satisfied. Just as we showed you your before and after pictures just yes. now uh, in the consultation room, and we showed you how, how much you have improved. Uh, when it's only been about a month or so. So you continue to improve in six months or so. Okay. So, but for those people who do want a, a, a top up, um, maybe they feel that uh, they want to have an even better effect, we generally wait to about six months because the treatment, uh, although it gives immediate results, but most of the heavy lifting mm -hmm. comes um, after two months and the face continues to improve uh, all the way up to six months whereby you have more and more collagen being stimulated. So generally we, we ask people try not to be so trigger happy. Yeah, uh, we have a look how it is and at six months we can decide again. Uh, we can actually do it very very soon after but um, because it continues to improve, normally about six months it would be good if you really do need to talk about. Okay, so does that mean that we'll save a lot of money because we only need to come like every one six months or just to okay, I mean our, our therapy is, is uh, as with most very good uh, treatments is it's not cheap, um, but um, it is a good value because mm -hmm. uh, it gives very consistent results. Okay. And um, for most people, we advise them to do it about once a year. So if you divide the cost of our therapy uh, over the twelve months, actually um, it is not more than any other uh, aesthetic treatment that we routinely do. And in fact, it's cheaper if you think about the fact that you only have to do it once a year. Some people, if they are really happy with the results, they might not even want to come back after one year. They might come back after one and a half years, two years, um, you know. Um, so it really, really depends. And even, even then, um, if it doesn't suit um, your budget, uh, we can always customize treatments such that we don't do the whole phase. Not everybody needs our therapy on the whole phase. We can do um, different parts of the phase. We can uh, do the eye bags do the cheeks, um, we can do the forehead lines or the crow's feet, um, but generally speaking, most people want to do the eye bags uh, and cheek lifting. Like me. Like you. <laughs> like me. Okay, um, that sounds like a good deal. So let's move on to the second question from um, Charlotte. Charlotte asked, I have very sensitive skin. Do you think that will, there will be any adverse reactions if I did our therapy? Okay, um, our therapy is um, uh, a no downtime treatment. Um, so for most people, um, after treatment, um, uh, the 
patient can actually go back immediately. Um, it can go for uh, parties or can do sports, can do anything that uh, that uh, he or she wants. Um, and that's because it it actually cold, the treatment actually cones down ultrasound to a very deep level, up to about four and a half millimeters. Mm -hmm. So it really doesn't affect the superficial part of the skin very much. So even for people with very sensitive skin, um, generally it's okay. But of course, uh, we will tailor our treatment to um, whatever um, the patient is sensitive to. Uh, and let's say if um, if it's very sensitive to heat, mm -hmm. causes rashes, yes, we do tune it down a little bit. Okay. But by and large, um, it's not a big problem. And we can uh, do treatment in almost everybody. So pretty much everyone, anyone can actually do our therapy. That's right. That's good. Okay, so the next question is by YT. YT asks, can I do our therapy if I'm pregnant now? I'm very interested, but I'm four months pregnant. Okay, um, generally when we feel someone's pregnant, we, okay, um, I'll put it this way, I mean there's nothing about our therapy uh, which is dangerous uh, for the fetus mm -hmm. or for the unborn child, um, but when one is pregnant, um, uh, we would actually advise uh, the patient to do it after their pregnancy, mm -hmm. because when one is pregnant, one tends to have a little bit of water retention, Okay. Um, and one tends to put on a little bit of weight, which is pretty normal. Mm -hmm. So it kind of changes the shape of the face a little bit. And uh, while that is not a, a, a big issue, we probably like to treat uh, a face uh, as is, mm -hmm. uh, so that we know where to target, uh, and we know uh, what we need to do mm -hmm. uh, to give the best possible life. And besides, being pregnant is a big event by itself. Yes. We probably don't want to take away some of that excitement that um, the pregnant uh, mother has. So, so we, we probably mm -hmm. want to skip our therapy until after uh, pregnancy, but um, there's nothing really uh, uh, dangerous about doing our therapy during pregnancy, but, but we tell people, come back, come back when you're ready. Okay, so aside from pregnancy, are there any contraindications that, you know, I can't do our therapy when, you know, I'm on certain medication or um, is there... Um, there is actually no uh, strict contraindication against our therapy itself, um, except if, uh, as you had said, the skin is really, really sensitive mm -hmm. and really um, the patient had done our therapy before and really had a little bit of uh, more swelling than we had anticipated, mm -hmm. then maybe we might do other things to um, firm up the skin. Uh, we've got a whole host of machines here mm -hmm. and uh, if we can't do our therapy, there are other things that we can do. But by and large, about 99, more than 99% of people are suitable for our therapy. And uh, it's, uh, it, it's good because it's no downtime, so... Okay. And the fourth question is by Xu Yuan. She's, she's asked, how frequent do I need to go back to do the treatment, which we've covered just now, but what is the most advisable you know, period of time for you know, a general person to come back for a treatment again? Generally, we ask them to come back about um, once a year. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, not a, a strict guideline because actually the effects of our therapy is very, very long lasting. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, some say that it can also be permanent. Um, the, an example would be if we uh, have a haircut, which I've done before, uh, the hair which drops off is permanently yes. gone. But of course, we still have to go back to do uh, a little trimming every now and then because, because we do have more hair which grows and similarly uh, as we age we probably need to have a little bit of touch up as well so we recommend once a year but this is not a strict timeline it really depends um, uh, on how, how much effect um, the, the, the patient has okay so the last question is by anonymous um, can it replace a surgical face lift? Uh, no, it can't, it can't replace a surgical face lift. And uh, we don't uh, expect it, most people will come not expect it to replace a surgical mm -hmm. face lift. Um, it is a convenient treatment, it's a quick treatment, it's a no time, tr time treatment, it's consistent results, it's good results, but it is not a surgical face lift. A surgical face lift has got fantastic results, 
but together with uh, the fantastic, fantastic results, it also comes with um, certain other uh, inconveniences um, and therefore it really is a different treatment and basically both can complement each other. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's good. Our therapy is actually good for um, women or men uh, who do want to have uh, lifting, do not want to have downtime, do not want to have surgery, uh, wants consistent results but don't mind coming every year uh, mm -hmm. or every two years for treatment. Okay. Alright, so that's all of the questions that we have for today, the top five questions. And thank you Dr. Terence Tan for taking the time and answering all the questions that you ladies have asked me. So if you have any more doubts or inquiries about our therapy, feel free to call Haley Medical Aesthetics today and get your consultation with Dr. Terence Tan. So thank you again Dr. Terence Tan. Thank you Jacqueline for coming. Thank you. And thank you everyone. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.